Hey guys, how are y'all? Another sneaker video. And I got the Air Max 270 this time in that racer blue and a hyper crimson colorway that kind of reminds you of um, OKC, or at least it reminds me of OKC. Um, these are brand new to me. I didn't get the uh, fly knit versions. Uh, they had a very limited selection of them um, in stores. So I got these instead. Um, they're kind of a newer pickup for me. I didn't do a unboxing video or anything because there wasn't really like an unboxing because I went to the store for them. I guess I could have done like a new pickup video and that could be a thing, but I didn't do it this time around. Um, the shoe is a one piece construction, so it's a booty um, with a pull tab right there that has Air Max, oh, let me try to get it. Air Max 270, let me try to get it on camera here. It says Air Max 270, and then there's a swoosh right there. Um, in that same racer blue colorway, of course, you got 270 right there, the crimson, and then the swoosh. Um, Hyperfuse on the toe for durability, as well as another uh, swoosh right there in white, and then on the medial side. Um, what did I show you? I already showed you the medial side, so lateral side, so the side facing out. So uh, side facing people, you got the uh, orange swoosh, which is also on the same side as that white swoosh I just showed you. you got a white pylon, I believe this is pylon, uh, midsole with that huge ass freaking hyper crimson uh, air bubble there, man, which also acts kind of like a, uh, a half of a heel cup, I guess. So it extends up kind of high, um, kind of acts like a heel cup, but the back there, there's a cutout, as you can tell, which, uh, it only cups half your heel. Um, actually, it doesn't cup any heel. If you, I'm putting my finger there now, and it actually, like, your heel ends, like, right here. Like, that's where the insole is. And this thing is raked. Uh, it has positive rake. So, if you're not... So, rake is a car term, okay? Um, rake is, like, when... So, this is flat, right? This is neutral. Then, rake, positive rake would be... This, is, this being the toe or the front of the car. It'd be sloped downwards, right? So when you wear these, um, so this is the left shoe, so I'll put it this way. Um, so when you wear these, your foot actually sits inside, um, facing downwards with your toe slightly lower than your heel. I'm not sure why they do that. Um, maybe it's just like performance. Maybe it like makes you run faster, longer, it's more comfortable when you run. I don't, I don't actually know. Um, but that, you do have that. Um, the air bubble is huge, and if you look on the bottom here, it says Air Max in the middle, and all this here is foam. I don't, be I believe there is no air, oh, I guess you can see it. I don't, there's no air in the center, so the air is actually just around, it's like a horseshoe. There's just air around your foot right there. But I tried compressing them by just like jumping up and down and just like on my heel. This compresses quite a bit. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do it with my hands because, you know, you need quite a bit of weight to compress it. But it compresses quite a bit and it absorbs that shot pretty well, man. Pretty well. Um, I mean, come on, look at that huge ass air bubble, dude. And I'm actually unsure if this has uh, full length zoom or not, full length air. But you do get some cushion right here in this uh, middle of your forefoot and I guess the middle of your foot. Uh, you do feel that air or something, something's there that's very cushiony and it does not extend all the way to the tip of your toes though. So when you step, you can feel where it cuts off and it cuts off literally like right in this area. It, like, cause when you step and when you get to that point of your toe, it actually like just falls over, like not fall over, but like you can feel that there's like not, whatever it is here, I'm not sure if it's air, let's say it's air, you, you totally do not feel it here. Uh, so you can feel that transition, which is not a big deal. It's just, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's still very comfortable. Um, then you got the, uh, I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure what to call this, mesh, I suppose, mesh. Uh, upper, real nice. Uh, breathability should be not a problem with all those freaking air holes, and there's like no leather on this. So, I mean, air should be rushing through, and it does. My feet does not get sweaty wearing these. Um, again, you wear dry fit socks anyways. So uh, let's get to the on foot, man. Then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about sizing and uh, comfort, I guess. And yeah.
So that was the on foot, man. Uh, these shoes are real, real comfortable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. They're very comfortable. And I like that it's a booty construction. Um, your tongue, there's no slippage on the tongue because it's not possible. It's really easy to slip on and off. Uh, I just like to untie them every time, but if I was to tie them just have one like set tightness, I guess, it'd be easy to uh, slip on and off, especially with this huge uh, heel tab right there. You just, it's, it's easy, man. Um, and the colors, although like, I would rather have like either an all white pair, which gets dirty really fast, or like a all black and maybe it hits a white or gray. Uh, there is none. So I decided to just pick these, which aren't bad at all. And I wear too much black anyway, so I opted for these. The Nike Air and white there in the heel, if I didn't mention that, and then Air 270 on the tongue. Um, the sizing for this, I've tried, this is a nine and a half. I tried them all, um, Air Max in the crimson there. Uh, it won't show up on camera, but it's in crimson. It says Air Max. Uh, the sizing of these, I tried both. I'm a true nine and a half. I tried nine and a half and now I decided to try a nine too. A nine fits for the most part, but it feels like my toe gets really up and close to uh, the end of the shoe. So I recommend getting your true, your true size, so your nine and a half. Um, usually a Nike, if you get a nine and a half, you should be solid. If you're a 10, get a 10. Uh, but if you really wanted like a, I would say glove, but close to a glove-like feel, get half a size down and it'll feel exactly like that. Um, but again, again, uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, to know for sure for your foot, because you, everyone has different feet, uh, definitely go to a store and try it out before you purchase. But Nike really, has a really good return policy anyways. So if it doesn't work out, you can always exchange it, but it's kind of a hassle because you gotta wait. Um, with that said, man, there's not a whole lot else to uh, say about the shoe. Uh, it's just a very comfortable shoe. I recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for like a running shoe or workout shoe or just like a daily run errands kind of shoe, this is this is a good shoe to do that in, man. It doesn't crease. Of course, hit it with the waterproofer. Um, just become, I think they're good beaters, man. Um, yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments leave below, questions leave below. I always answer them. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching.